and thanks again for tuning in to another one of our monster overviews. Today we're going to be going over Cathbad, and this is going to be in thanks to Gloomy. Appreciate you, Gloomy, for letting us use your Cathbad on on the episode today. And so we're just going to jump right in here to his uh, Cathbad. Now he's got four arcane stars and six uh, gold stars on this. Cathbad is going to be a, in the Druids, Healers, Keepers of Arat. Forest Shamans, Retribution Squad, Woodland Guardians, and his Roland allies. His healing abilities are incredible as he draws on the very strength of Arat. Um, we're going to see all skills to level 7, so that's really good. Now, don't forget, level 90 is the max level that you can get to right now. It was pretty much just released, so we're going to give him a little leeway on that. But he's got equipment level up to 12, so you get a lot of bonus points for that. Good job there, Gloomy. Uh, Gloomy also has a strength level of 23,224. Now, at this level in the game with his basic, and I'm sorry, not basic, but with his current stats, you're going to see hit points of 3.473 million. You're going to see a speed of 199, armor of 31,690, magic damage resistance 38,550, big basic damage 141,061, critical hit chance pinning in at 27%, critical damage at 240,490. Hats off to you, Gloomy. Now the skills. Here we go. You ready? The basic attack, Staff Strike, damages one target, has a chance, which increases for 17% for every Druid and Woodland Guardian ally to inflict an extra damage buff. The next attack on the target deals 30% more damage. If the debuff is successfully put on the target, then the same debuff will be put on two random enemies. The debuffs can stack without limit and are removed one at a time after each attack on the target. So he's going to trigger the healer class marks. He's going to do a basic damage of 141,000 and 061, and a chance to inflict debuffs is going to be 17%. So 17% chance to inflict these debuffs and then you're going to basically be able to do more debuffs on the other on two random enemies if you land it. So that's really awesome for a skill one. Only on one target, but then the debuffs go on to other targets. Remember that. Skill two is called Nature's Touch. Cast a buff on allied druids and woodland guardians two times, which restores 25% of their maximum HP per such buff cast on them at the start of their turn. So they're going to be able to gain 25% and 25% not stacking. While other allies get half that amount. So when the Woodland Guardians are getting this ability, they get the buff uh, extra. But the other allies get half that. So meaning 12.5%. Removes turn skipping effects from allies, which is so good. Reduced ally Drev Drevorad's Forest Forbids ability cooldown by one turn. Nice. So you get a uh, nice little passive effect right there on that. And increase the speed of all Druid and Woodland Guardian allies by 20% for three turns. So all their speeds get to go up if you're in the Druid and Woodland Guardian ally class. Current level is six. Or I'm sorry, the ability cooldown is six. Fewer turns until a, bear, a character can use an ability uh, is one. Percentage of hit points restored, 25%. And increase to speed of allies, 20%. So congratulations, level 7. That's going to be amazing to use. I can't wait to get in there on that. Arat's Strength. This is going to be a really good one to use as well. Restores 50% of the maximum HP to the ally with the lowest HP. Removes the dot debuffs from all allies and protects against similar buffs. Or I'm sorry, debuffs being inflicted for two turns. Two turns! So <laughs> that's so much. The low, so the lowest guy is going to get 50% of his HP restored. Everybody's debuffs that are dots are going to be removed. And then you're going to have protection from that. So if a character that you're fighting against is going to be trying to put on, or a team is putting on a lot of dots and debuffs, this skill right here is going to be amazing for you. Has 100% chance to resurrect a random druid or woodland guardian ally and give them 50% of their maximum HP. That's mega amounts of HP right there if it's a huge guy. Increases the damage of all Druid and Woodland Guardian allies by 35% for two turns. This is so strong at level 7. Are you kidding me? The ability cooldown obviously is going to be at 6. 
you know, because you're not going to be able to use that every other turn, or every three turns when you would need it. <laughs> Percentage of hit points restored, 50%. Chance to resurrect one random druid ally, 100%. They're coming back. Percentage hit points to be restored to the revived ally is 50%, and the effect duration is up to two. Awesome, awesome ability. Viridian Veil. Now, here's the passive, okay? So every time a debuff is applied on a Woodland garden Guardian, Cathbad regains 12% of their max HP, and other allies regain half as much. So every time one's put on, everybody gains 6% of their max HP. So that's really good. All allied Woodland Guardians begin to the battle with a shield equal to 35% of their max HP. Debuffs cannot be cast on Cathbad and Dreverand until the start of their first turn. And Dreverand's initiative is increased by 20%. So that Dreverand is going to be able to go fast, you know. But these guys, if they do get outsped, you're not even going to be able to do debuffs on them whatsoever. Absolute uh, legend right here. Current level. So percentage of hit points restored, 12%. Percentage increase to the shield strength, 20%. Percentage increase to the initiative, 20%. Awesome, awesome monster. Can't wait to get in there. Let's go. Just got to have, you know, the guy that's there. Iron Josh. Okay, here we go. So we don't need to use the passive. We could use... No, we're not going to use this heal. Um, we could cast the buff. In fact, we'll go ahead and cast this buff. So Sabretooth got it. And then everybody else got... Um, one of the skills there as well, except for Lucky. We'll go ahead and just hit with Lucky. Do regular skills. Okay. Oh, I forgot Ararat was in there. So we'll kind of use Ararat as best as possible. Okay, here we go with skill one on a rise. Oh, we can't use it on the rise? Okay, we'll go down here on this uh, big bug. Not bad damage. Almost killed the big bug. Brain bug in one hit. So we've seen a lot of units that do just one shot units uh, as they come in. Okay, now we can go ahead. Restores the HP of the ally with the lowest. Removes dots and debuffs. Has a 100% chance to resurrect a random druid or woodland guardian. So I don't think we have... Oh wait, is Roland a druid? We're going to find out if this is going to resurrect Roland. So here you go. Will this resurrect Roland? No. Roland is obviously not a random druid. While these rises are down, they're, they're really tough. Okay, but they're back up, and we can kill them. So it's just going to be us. Us two. I don't think Sabretooth will be... Um, too far behind every time if we just resurrect one of them. So he that skill 3 does not resurrect him. Alright, so from here on out, we'll just go ahead and auto. This is how I would handle it normally when I'm just coming through the story and I have a monster that can carry me. You guys can do the same. And Cathbat is definitely... Um, woo, removed half of that HP there. We're going to see if this Cathbat can make it through. I, I think it would. But we did take a lot of damage from that one attack. Okay, now that we're full HP, I think we got a better shot. And there it goes. And Catbat is just doing a great and amazing job tanking all these shots at this point in the story. Um, we're not seeing a lot of attacks come out yet. We're just going to go ahead and try and target maybe, uh, that guy. There you go. Much easier for him to get in there and attack these guys and take them out. And you can hit the little monsters if you're just learning about this and just, uh, choose which monster they do want to attack while you're in the auto mode. I don't wish for the death of Eret or its people. I'll help Roland prepare for the trials. This guy's going to put the trials in front of you. There you go, guys. Once again, thank you, Gloomy, for letting us use your cast bad. That's your uh, monster review, and that's exactly what you'll see from them in the battles. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys in the next video.